All right, October's in the books. Watch this video for Thursday, November 1st. Uh, nice gap up in the SPY, and I, there's a daily candle. I'm going to go to intraday and show you that for most of the day, look at this, right before the close, this thing was holding up really well. And then in the last uh, 30 minutes or so, kind of rolled over. So what to make of this candle now, no idea. Um, but it is the first day in like nine days that the SPY broke a previous day's high. I did it via a gap, but overall, for the most part, held on pretty well. I uh, had a nice day in chat today. If you weren't in chat, a couple calls I made, uh, CGC, the pot stocks were strong, TL TLRY was ripping. Uh, so I called kind of an inflection point trade. Uh, CGC through 35.50 with the high of day just above as another catalyst and you can see what happened. It hit 35.50 and went pretty quickly to 37. Uh, these are five minute candles so uh, in less than an hour. Pretty nice move. Um, Wayne called TLRY. We were watching the pod stocks because they were strong. TLRY through the high of day which happened to be a whole number 95. Hit 95 early, came back, Wayne called it right back through 95 and you can see what happened went to 101 something from the 95 trigger and then this afternoon if you weren't in chat um, i called nbev which had a nice early pop uh, coors ceo i think um i think it was the ceo was uh, on on tv i guess talking about possibly getting into the cannabis infused beverage market which is what nbev does so that got some volume pouring in here and it hit uh, 414 here, hit 414 again here. So you have like an intraday cup and handle right there um, with the high of day above again as another potential catalyst. And so I called it. You can see why I posted in chat. 415 idea, 408 stop. Just this little flag break, long right there, stop right there. And a uh, pretty nice result there too. So a few nice trades. I had a couple other nice trades today. Um, what to think about the spy tomorrow? I don't know. I don't care. Um, you know, we've got a watch list every night and uh, here goes tomorrow's watch list. Start with RRD. Really strong day today. Nice volume for the stock and held up pretty well. We'll see if we get a follow through day in that one tomorrow. AGRX had this nice pop back here. Kind of tried to break out of this tight range yesterday and then today an inside day. Um, topping out at, uh, I don't know, 87 cents. If you break today's high, 87. You look to the left, you've got like a 91 high, and then you might just uh, might just really head up and test these recent highs. So I do want to watch that one. DCIX, the shippers, very strong today. I'll show you a couple of those. But DCIX had this pop back here, came back down. Again, another failed uh, pop. And then today, a little bit stronger. So closed a little bit stronger. We're going to watch that one. Um, SBBP, uh, believe it or not, that, that when you look at a daily chart like this, you think, oh, that was probably just an errant tick. No, it actually went down there. Look at this. Gapped up, sold off, all the way back, took out the high of day, came back down sideways, and closed pretty strong. We'll look for a potential long in that one tomorrow. Pretty weird intraday action, but definitely worth watching tomorrow. Solo was on Bounce Watch today. Ended up closing about where it opened, um, but I want to watch that one for potential long tomorrow. GLBS, very strong close today. Uh, I showed this one in the afternoon. Uh, said, hey, this one, if you know, it looks like it's going to close with a decent chart, and it did close pretty strong. Um, so that was another shipper I wanted to show. So we're going to watch that one tomorrow. Um, one that I kept pointing out today was PXS. My first call on it, actually, <laughs> was right here at like 195. There's the opening candle. I thought if it breaks this tight range, it might break the high of day. And it did. It just didn't get any follow through. Uh, I, made, I, don't know, I made very little money in it. Then we talked about it again back through the high of day. That one popped a little bit, came back down, and then it really took off at the end of the day. So I know some people, I kept pointing out sellers. I pointed out a seller at 220 when it looked like this, basically meaning if it takes out that seller, high of day break might get going. Uh, but it, it never really, like timing wise, I didn't, never caught this as a great entry. And I actually wasn't around for the final uh, 30 minutes where it really had that big pop. But um, there's an example of a strong kind of baby shipper and it's why I'm watching this uh, GLBS and uh, DCIX because the baby shippers are pretty darn strong. Um, oh, by the way, dry ships too. Uh, I called today over this early high right here. Then I called it again in chat if you weren't there. Over 570. I had the really nice flag with yesterday's high above as a potential catalyst. And uh, shippers were strong. So that one worked much better. And uh, dry ships ended up going 
up significantly from there. A fairly strong close, but it's had a you know big two-day run. Anyway, keep your eyes on the shippers tomorrow. Um, a B I O. Uh, nice break out of a tight range down here. Fairly good volume for this stock. Um, closed kind of well off its highs, and you had the 200-day in play. So I'm not in love with it, but uh, it does move pretty nicely at times. I'll hover over this day and show you as an example. It actually went from 58 cents to $1.05 on an intraday basis. So this one does have some room to run if it gets going. And then DXR had this big pop, and then today an inside day on much lower volume. Sometimes you get a third day play where it just rips again, so I want to watch that one. Um, I'm not in love with this list, but we're doing a good job in chat of rooting out uh, some of the nice plays, um, like CGC today, uh, TLRY. Oh, and let me show you a call I made in GM today, too, if you weren't there. General Motors, um, just 10 minutes in. I basically said, hey, I like this back through 36. It's If you look at it, there's a high, there's a lower high. These are five-minute candles. So what you have, if it gets thir to 36, you have a five-minute buy setup, right? Triggering on a five-minute buy setup, plus a red to green, plus high of day just above is another catalyst, and which is why in five minutes it broke 36 and went to 36.40. Uh, very quick money there. Um, it didn't really hold up. It ended up running at the end of the day, but um, for an early trade, that's a nice move, right? 40 cent move in a couple minutes. Um, so there's another example of you know, a pretty clean morning gap play setup. Anyway, I'm not in love with this list, but I think there'll be plenty to trade tomorrow. We're going to add uh, morning gappers to this list as well. So uh, if you were in chat today, um, you know what I'm talking about. There was plenty of great posts in the room. And uh, again, I, I'm fully confident that we'll have plenty of great posts every day because uh, as a team, we are uh, kicking it on all cylinders. Uh, some, some great posts in chat. And I uh, love the way that we are working together and rooting out the, uh, the you know, the, uh, the hot sectors, right? Hey, hey, early, you know, early on today, shippers are, are looking good. Um, pot stocks, very, very strong today. So, and we were all over both of those. So anyway, enough babbling, great teamwork and chat, and we'll see everybody tomorrow. Have a good night.